Good evening, you're watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman television. First, the headlines. Various intensity rains fall in a number of the governorates and wilayas of the Sultanate as a result of the fact of an air trough and will last for two days. Public authority for civil aviation urges the necessity to be cautious and not to risk crossing wadis with expectations of heavy rainfalls this evening and tomorrow. And uh, Takka Festival in its uh, fourth edition narrates a deep-rooted historical and civilizational heritage of the Governorate of the Far. Those were the headlines and now the news in detail. A number of wilayas of the governorates of the Sultanate witnessed since dawn today various intensity rainfalls accompanied by gust winds as a result of the effect of an air trough and will continue for the next two days. In the governorate of Muscat, heavy to moderate rain fell in the wilayas of Kuryat, Muscat, Al-Amrat and Boshir. Moderate to heavy rain fell in the wilayas of Suwaik, Kabura and Saham in the governorate of North Batna. Thunderous rain fell in the wilayas of Barka and Rostak in the governorate of South Batna. Heavy rains also fell in the governorate of Zahira. The governorates of Al Wusta also had various intensity rainfalls in the wilayas of Hema, Dukum, and Mahut, causing some wadis and tributaries to overflow. <laughs> The public authority for civil aviation issued a warning of thunderous rainfalls in the governorates of Muscat, North and South Batna, Bremi, Zahira, Dakhliya and North and South Sharqiya. It will be accompanied by high winds and hail causing numerous wadis to overflow. The authority calls on members of the public to be careful during rains not to risk crossing wadis, to keep away from low-laying areas and to follow weather bulletins and statements issued through media means. It also calls on fishermen and seagoers to refrain from sailing during the period along most of the Sultanate's coast. To know more about the weather condition with us online from Public Authority for Civil Aviation, Suleiman bin Abdullah Al Jahthami, Senior Meteorologist. Mr. Suleiman, welcome to our news bulletin. Uh, good evening to everybody and uh, wishing you a pleasant weekend. Would you please elaborate on the air trough and its effect on the Sultanate? Well, this is quite common uh, as now we are sliding uh, towards the summer. The atmosphere is very unstable at the moment. We do have uh, this uh, sort of what we call trough. The meaning of trough is extension of low pressure system, which is coming from the west. So whenever you have a trough of low pressure system, you're having all these uh, unstable weather activities. And due to these uh, mountain chains, which plays a major role in enhancing thunderstorm activities, it's quite common. As you have seen, moderate to heavy rains in some places, very heavy is expected and will continue for at least two days and uh, sea conditions will be uh, very rough there will be water flowing as we're already having some water flowing so it's, it's quite common and uh, we are urging the people to be very cautious as always Please do not try to cross the wadis for at least the next two days and try to avoid putting up to the seas as we're expecting the sea conditions to be moderate to rough. Back to you. Where about uh, heavy rains are expected to fall? Well, mostly the heavy rains uh, along the mountain chains and our surrounding areas. As you know, the, uh, the characteristics, characteristics of the mountain chains, the Hajar Mountains, they play a major role in enhancing thunderstorm activities. So in, in these areas, in the surrounding areas, especially the long-lying areas, you're going to have uh, very severe thunderstorm activities. And you know the thunderstorm activities here in Oman, they, they, they form very fast and they dissipate very fast. And during thunderstorm activities, 
you should expect some hailstorm, some very gusty winds in some places. And uh, of course, uh, water will be, will be flowing, especially in low-lying areas. So we are urging the people, especially around in these areas, to be uh, very, very cautious and not to try to cross the wadis. Otherwise, moderate in other places of the northern governance of the southerners, they're going to expect uh, some rains, some places moderate, some t places uh, uh, heavy. And this situation, as I said before, for, it's going to continue for at least the next coming two days. And then after that, uh, the rains will be shifted towards the mountain areas only. Back to you. Would you please tell us more about the places that are covered already by the rains and where you expect it to spread? Well, at the moment, all the governors of the northern parts of the Sultanate we should expect, starting from the east, going towards the west, okay, all these areas, Mohavad uh, Muscat, Mohavad Dakhli, as clearly mentioned, Dakhli, northern and southern Sharqiya, and all these areas are going to start. They are already experiencing some moderate to heavy rains. By tomorrow, uh, we are expecting even more tomorrow, even more rains by, by tomorrow, Saturday. And then by Sunday, uh, the system will, be, will, will have moved towards the west, uh, sorry, towards the east, along the Sharkia coast, and it's going to fish finish off over Sharkia coast. So the, the thing is moving from from the from the west towards the east, and uh, along these areas, especially along the Hajar Mountains area and surrounding areas, moderate to heavy rains are highly expected, as we've already mentioned in your in your bulletin, and we're already having some very heavy rains around the northern parts of the governance of the Sultanates. Back to you. Thank you, Suleiman, for being with us. That was Suleiman bin Abdullah Al Jahdabi, senior meteorologist. <music> Highlighting historical and civilized heritage of the Wilaya of Takka in the Gulfred of Dufar were the main goals of opening Takka ceremony. 2016. The festival held at Al Farda Theatre at the center of the Willa Willa in included seven artistic paintings that represented a social integrity among various society segments in the Wilaya of Dhaka. It aimed at acquainting the new generation with the past and heritage of forefathers. The festival continues until the 16th of April and will help to touristic and economic movements in the Wilaya. It included various religious, cultural, sports and artistic activities, in addition to an exhibition for handicrafts. The event was held under the patronage of His Excellency Sayyid Mohammed bin Sultan al busaidi Minister of State and Governor of the Far, with the attendance of a number of ministers. Still to come in our news bulletin. UK farmers are fearful of losing Brussels' lifeline, depending on the outcome of the EU referendum. Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. The fifth student forum for GLOB environmental program launched its activities for the first time in the governorate of Dakhliya. The program targets 120 male and female students from 30 schools from various governorates of the Sultanate. It aimed at enabling students to participate at scientific research projects for various environmental issues. The conclusion ceremony highlighted the importance of a GLOB program as a global educational program that focuses on various sciences and environment. The program aimed at encouraging students to conduct environmental studies. Students presented 17 researchers on environmental field locally and internationally to come out with recommendations that will score 
for further future scientific research. The end of the ceremony, organizers of the programs, scrolls applying the program and students winning at scientific research were honored. Enhancing social role provided by social specialists and their relationships with surrounding society topped the aims of a social specialist forum, which held at the Directorate General for Education in the Governorate of North Sharqiya. The forum came with coinciding with the celebration of World Social Service Day, included visual shows of a number of ex experiences in addition to discussion sessions. The event seek to introduce the importance of social specialists in the school and the society and focused on enhancing belonging and developed students' abilities in addition to refine their practical and scientific skills. Al-Wafa Center for Rehabilitation of Disabled Children in the Wilaya of al bremi celebrated World Autism Day, which falls on the 2nd of April every year. The celebration came to emphasize on the importance of integrating disabled children to the society. It was accompanied by exhibition and included various activities like awareness messages for the public. The event focused on rehabilitation and improving capabilities of this segment and witnessed the participation of various society segments, acquainting society with autism, ways of dealing with it and types of autism were the main goals of the celebration. Highlighting Omani traditional heritage and activating touristic aspects in the Wilaya of Adhank, the Oman Chamber of Commerce and Industry, in cooperation with the Directorate of Tourism in the Governorate of Adhahira, organized first Dhang Tourism Festival. The inauguration of the festival was presided over by His Excellency Sheikh Mohammed bin Saeed Al Kalbani, Minister of Social Development. The festival included a heritage village, Bedouin tent and traditional games. The festival aimed to promote tourism in the Wilaya of Dhang. The 10 days festival included a number of cultural, artistic and entertainment events and activities in addition to participation of domestic associations, voluntary teams, productive families and small and medium-sized enterprises. Farmers fear that if Britain leaves the EU, it could leave their livelihoods hanging in the balance, with loss in subsidies dealing a hammer blow to the nation's already ailing agriculture sector. More details in the following report. Like most British farmers, Toby Bulgin receives vital financial support from the EU to tend to his 800 sheep and some 300 cattle. But as a proud Brit, it is with a heavy heart that this farmer will be voting to remain in the EU in the upcoming referendum. My heart, you know, I'm, I'm British, I'm English. Um, my heart says, come out of the EU. I don't think the UK government would look after agriculture um, in the UK the way that the European Union does. Around a third of Toby's income comes from the EU's common agricultural policy. Toby is subsidised to flood part of his land to provide a habitat for wading birds and to limit the number of cattle he can raise. As the UK's membership in the EU hangs in the balance, British farmers are worried. Farmers are in a bad economic situation to begin with. A, a lot of uncertainty that is not quickly uh, assured and reassured, don't worry, we're going to look after you farmers. If that doesn't happen, there could be a significant depression or recession in British agriculture because it's already starting in a bad shape. Farmers recently took to London streets to call for greater protection of British farmers. Even with the subsidies, British farmers are struggling to compete with foreign imports. Milk producers' profits have plummeted by nearly half in just one year while arable farmers have seen their revenues drop by a quarter. As much as we're trying to cope and the beef industry is going down, everyone's struggling, the price of arable corn and that is, is on the floor. Um, 
store magnesium in their bodies. Britain's referendum on their membership in the EU will take place on the 23rd of June. Toby hopes that the British people will, like him, vote with their heads rather than their hearts. This is the South End of Vermont Television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. Various intensity rings fall in a number of the governorates and wilayas of the Sultanate as a result of the effect of an air trough and will last for two days. Public authority for civil aviation urges the necessity to be cautious and not to risk crossing wadis with expectations of heavy rainfalls this evening and tomorrow. And the Taka Festival in its fourth edition narrates deep-rooted historical and civilizational heritage of the governorate of the farm. And with that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin from all of us here at the studios and the newsroom. It's good night.